Let's enjoy a special bird show at Asia Park, Da Nang City. For many Da Nang audiences, this is their first time to witness the performances of these colorful birds of all kinds, listening to the trainer's order. Parrots, pheasants, ostriches, falcons, eagles, with the acrobatic skills to cut rain, interact with the audiences, has brought many interesting experiences to the show. Sau khi đến xem show diễn thì em thấy rất là tuyệt vời, nhiều loại chim màu sắc rất là sực sở, có rất là nghe lời lấy tiền lại trả tiền lại với nhiều tiết mục cũng thấy rất là hay và thú vị. Đây là lần đầu tiên mà em đã được thấy những chú chim ở ngoài đời. Thì có những chú chim ở Việt Nam mình cũng không có và cũng không dễ dàng thấy được. Ví dụ như là em đây là đầu tiên thấy là điểu thì đây là con vật mà em cảm thấy ấn tượng nhất ở đây ạ. Hello everyone, it's Steve. Nice to see you back on Live in Da Nang. We have just enjoyed a fantastic show with the leader birds. They are really great, right? From the familiar ones like parrot, ostrich to the birds of prey like hawk and eagle. So have you ever wondered how to train these beautiful creatures to listen to the human and take the order? Let's find out about a bird trainer work here on this episode of Live in Da Nang. This is a daily training session between the birds and the trainers that I have the opportunity to join in. Seeing and interacting with these lovely parrots is an exhilarating experience. Each bird here comes from different places with different stories. To understand them requires a passionate and patient process of the trainer. Trail Stalker is the professional bird trainer who has spent most of his life talking to the birds. Having the chance to talk to him to know more about this unique job is really wonderful. So can you introduce a little bit about yourself? Uh, my name is Trail. I am originally South African. I have traveled the world working with animals. I lived in the Middle East in Dubai for 10 years and I've been living in Vietnam now for nearly four years, uh, working mainly with beautiful birds just like this one over here. Yeah, so I know that is uh, a very uh, specific and unique job. Uh, can you share a little bit about your job? Sure. And how we train them, we use a, a method called positive reinforcement or operant conditioning. So what this means is that we, we work with the birds like they are our friends. We are not their boss. We do not tell them what to do. We work together. So we spend a lot of time uh, making a relationship with the birds. We spend many hours every day in the heat. I know that beside these uh, pretty birds, mm -hmm. there are also some birds like uh, eagle or hawks. Mm -hmm. How did you break the, the wall between human and the wild bird? Mm -hmm and uh, make them to understand your love and also your emotion to the wild bird? Uh, it's basically a lot of time and a lot of patience. You have to study uh, bird and animal behavior. You understand what certain things mean. Like even now I'm talking to you, but I'm very aware of what he's doing. Everything he does, I am completely aware of his behavior at this time. And this is how we break that wall. Uh, for example, parrots like this, like I said, from, from South America. Um, these birds live very high in the canopy of the rainforest. They love to fly. They're very social. Birds of prey and eagles are slightly different. They don't live in very big groups. Yeah. They usually live in pairs. Um, obviously, they eat meat. Parrots don't eat meat. So it's understanding their, their natural history, their physiology, their biology. And this is how we start to, 
children. Any like good memories or bad memories when training them? Any wound or <laughs> you hurt or something like that? Uh, we we try very hard to uh, not get wounds. Yeah. Um, ah! You know, we try to make things very positive and very happy. So we try not to have experiences that uh, will, ah! will elicit or uh, put the birds in a position where they're not comfortable. So we only do ah! training if they want. If they, if we can see the birds don't want to come out or they say they don't want to come for the show, that's okay, we stop. After ah! hearing your story, I feel like you have a very big love for the birds, mm -hmm. including uh, uh, the breathy birds or the birds of prey. Mm -hmm. So ah! it's like just like your friend in your life. So can you share more about your friendship with the birds here? Yeah, well, I think when you, when you work with, with birds or animals ah! in general, yeah. they become uh, your entire life. You know, we spend a lot of time thinking about their diet, um, about toys for them, what makes them happy. Um, sometimes we can stay here when work is finished, we will stay here till late because they need us. Maybe one bird needs more food, one bird needs a bit more attention. So it's, it's, it is, um, they become your family. A healthy bird will become a positive friend, a good listener. Therefore, preparing their diet and caring for their daily habits have to be very thoughtful. À, về chế độ dinh dưỡng thì hàng ngày là chim sẽ được cân từng bạn một à, dựa vào số ký đó thì là các uh, huấn luyện viên sẽ huấn luyện viên trưởng sẽ cho một cái chế cái chế độ ăn thích hợp để cho phù hợp uh, với uh, từng ngày. Với lại về thức ăn thì là hầu như thức ăn từ thiên nhiên nên rất heo thì cho các bạn chim. Lúc lúc đầu thì chim mới giờ sẽ là mới hoàn toàn thì mình có kho chắc cũng có những trường hợp là bị chim cắn này nọ nhưng mà khi mình sẽ cho chim thoải mái nhất có thể khi mình vào chuồng thì mình sẽ cho ăn uống và sẽ chăm sóc các bạn và dành 10 đến 15 phút và ngồi trò chuyện và cho ăn ở được các bạn sẽ có tình yêu thương của mình chỉ nhiều hơn I think that is really important to send the love of the people to the birds and especially spread it to the other people. Mm -hmm. So I think in Vietnam, because uh, especially the young generation, they don't have much opportunity to see this beautiful creature in the outside. They just can see them from the books, the television. So uh, through your activities, what message do you want to send to the people, especially the young? I think the message that we want to send is that uh, birds are very important for our ecosystem. They are very important in nature, they are part of the natural world and we should protect it. They are also incredibly intelligent. So they are very, very clever and they know how to um, manipulate you and play with you and yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's always a different, every day is different. So we want to share this with people, we want to show them their intelligence, their beauty, um, how important they are for conservation and in the world. And especially here in Vietnam, uh, like I said, these guys don't come from Vietnam, but Vietnam has many, many beautiful birds that me as a foreigner, I, I love, you know, I sit outside here and I see the eagles flying over and I get very excited. Um, and that's right here in the city. So I think uh, it's all these small things that we need to uh, become more aware of um, and appreciate. So it's a great appreciation for them. It's really great for me today to find out about a bird trainer. It's not an easy job, but it's also amazing with the patient love and care for these beautiful creatures. Uh, help the people to see them in the real life, their beauty, and also know about their valuable role in the nature and raise the awareness of protecting them from danger. Thank you for following with us in this episode of Live It and Ang, and we look forward to see you again on the next adventure. <laughs>